So I know you, but the people don't know you. Yes. So talk to the people. Who is Kenyon Gray? Who is Kenyon Gray? That's a good question. Uh, sometimes I don't even know. Mm -hmm. God kind of gives me my marching orders, I guess. So uh, um, I can tell you where I came from. Uh, I was uh, I grew up in the church. Uh, my dad was a uh, a preacher, uh, and uh, I grew up playing guitar and singing on his worship team. And um, I uh, really fell in love with uh, uh, Christian music. Uh, really kind of cut my teeth on that rockabilly. My dad grew up. Uh, he also was in music when he was a teenager, and he. Uh, Got his start. He was a major Elvis Presley fan, so I think everybody was. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, so he was uh, really into rockabilly, and mm -hmm. uh, so he uh, kind of got me into that. And I was, I followed him on, and I started playing bass, and then I kind of gravitated over to playing acoustic, and uh, started doing some backgrounds for his uh, songs. And I started writing. I caught the bug. Uh, I. Uh, one of the worship leaders uh, at his uh, at his uh, church began to uh, kind of took me under his wing, and he uh, had a band, and he was from Detroit, Michigan. We all, I was born in Detroit, Michigan, and moved out to Arizona when I was about three years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, he was uh, had a big Beatle influence, and mm -hmm. uh, so he introduced me to the Beatles. He introduced me to. Wow. Um, uh, the Beach Boys, and uh, mm. which kind of led to me, I, I fell in love with the rich harmonies and uh, right. that Brit rock sound. Right. Um, so as I started mm. to develop, and I was very young when I started, I was probably 13, 14 years old, I just started developing this bug. Mm. And, um, you know, I, I was all my friends, they were, you know, asking me why I was listening to that old stuff. And I just, <laughs> because it's good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but I, I, I tried to trans, uh, I guess, take that music and yeah. put it over into the Christian. So it influenced me, and I started taking it, bringing it over into the Christian world. Right. Uh, I was big in the, within the country music, and uh, I really liked uh, that music as well. So I have a rich kind of a variety of music. But when I started to write. I started finding that I was a South, this Southwestern rocker. I kind of mm. paid homage to country music. I paid homage to uh, uh, rock and roll. Uh, so I was a kind of a Southwestern rocker. Right. Um, you know, as you, you don't take it very seriously when you're a kid, uh, mm. you, you're just growing in the spirit. Right. And then the Lord started dealing with me Yeah. and saying, well, this is, this is what I'm developing in you. And, and I want you to start writing music. Now I didn't know he wasn't speaking to me. It was kind of in my right. spirit. I just started writing and right. I started writing all these, all this music and, you know, right. people started to listen and they, mm. uh, they seemed like they liked it. I wasn't really, uh, you know, at that time in your life, you really don't know. I was more about playing football and, yeah. and boxing and that kind of stuff. So how old but were you? But then I, uh, when I started writing, yeah, yeah, yeah. How old were you when you I wrote writing? my I I wrote my first uh, Christian song when I was fourteen years old called "The Dove of Love." Wow, wow! <laughs> it was at a 14. at wow. fourteen. Yeah, it was a hit in my mind. It was a <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was an entire song it had three chords in it, and uh, it was. Uh, I just thought it was going to be the greatest thing, and wow. uh, I, I don't. Re I just remember the title. I don't even remember the melody. But uh, I was just about to yeah. ask you: Can you can you give us some right. of that that song from? Yeah, I, I, I remember the title, not the melody, and um, <laughs> we. Uh, <laughs> I, I that, but that's what I remember, and I, yeah. I, I just started cutting my teeth, and then I, yeah. I began to write uh, mm -hmm. more and more, and in it. What's moving is growing up in the church and you get in the praise and worship aspect of it. Yeah. Um, you see all these people being moved and the emotional uh, 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 responses from the music that you're actually playing on stage. Yeah, yeah. It was very moving. And uh, I began to really 
I, I went through some hard times as a young, yeah. uh, a young kid. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but when I was up on that stage playing that music, mm -hmm. it seemed like you know everything was just you know I kind of gave myself over to the music or the, the spirit of the music. I gave myself over to uh, you know now later on as I started developing as a Christian, I realized it was the Holy Spirit right. that was moving, right. and I saw. Kind of a reverse thing from the stage, looking out at the congregation and mm. their responses. It was very moving, and I love mm. those. I love those moments. Yeah, they're yeah. very raw, and they're they're very raw, but yeah. they're very true, and they're right. authentic. Right, right. Yeah. That's beautiful.